The Great Gorillas project is on for the next 10 weeks. The life-size sculptures are inhabiting the streets, parks and open spaces of the English Riviera and Exeter. It's a chance to showcase the wealth of local artistic talent while also highlighting the significant threat facing wild gorillas. Well, gorillas have always been important to Hainton Zoo and we're very, very aware of, of the problems that gorillas face in the wild. So really it was a natural fit that we should do gorillas and these sculptures are fabulous looking. They've been painted by a range of local artists and um, sponsored by local businesses, put out in the local community. They make a superb free art trail. The gorillas are invading the streets until October. They will then be moved back to Paint Zoo before being auctioned off for charity in November. This project will not only enable the zoo to continue with its vital conservation and education work, it will also help save the Cross River Gorillas from extinction. Now the Cross River Gorilla closely resembles the Lowland Gorilla found here at Paynton. It's hoped each sculpture will make around £5,000. The call for designs brought in some 200 submissions. The sculptures all start out the same and end up as just about anything you can imagine. It's very colourful and uh, I've never really actually noticed it before. How long has it been here for? Just today. Just today, all right. It's staying there, is it? Until October. All oh, right, well, very colourful. As I say, it's nice. It's all right. Might, might look good around here. Might fit in. <laughs> I think it's great. You know, lovely and colourful, good attraction. I think it's brilliant. I'd love it in the house. Really good. Kids would love it. The last of the sculptures will be installed later tonight and the zoo are providing a gorilla trail map for anyone who wants to track down on 30. Jeff Welsh, ITV News, Torbay.